That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? But the Steve Harvey got a point though. This video is brought to you by SaveTheStorks.org. SaveTheStorks.org. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I was just a keynote speaker at, at their annual event. What an amazing organization to be a part of. My family supports them monthly. My family also gave a donation even on the day that I was the keynote speaker because we believe in the mission and Save the Storks. Young women are being lied to and deceived, uninformed, headed into Planned Parenthood to do the unthinkable. And in many cases, I think it's not through malice and evilness. It's through being miseducated. And so that's why I love Save the Storks and that's why my family support them is because they give young women the information that they need to make a great decision. And also not just make the great decision alone, but they help them through the process and then help them after they've made the proper decision to give life. And the Stork Bus is one thing that I think is absolutely amazing. It's a medical mobile unit. They pull them up in front of the Planned Parenthoods. And when young ladies are thinking about making that decision, they'll have to drive past this bus. And on the bus, it allows them to have an ultrasound. And we know that about 90% of young women who get an ultrasound decide not to have an abortion. So they can see the ultrasound. They get all the information they need to make, the, make a positive decision. I want you to join me and become a monthly partner today. Go to savethestorks.org, savethestorks.org. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, make sure you grab one of these two. The discount code will be somewhere in the video. You got to watch the whole video to find out. Steve Harvey. I, I tell you what, I, I don't agree with everything Steve Harvey says, and I, and I think that's applicable for every single person on planet Earth. You cannot agree with everything. Everybody. I don't even agree with everything that Jesus say, but I know we got to follow it. So you, I know that people are not going to agree with everything because some things maybe offend you or whatever the case may be, it's irrelevant. But Steve Harvey, I think, is has some of the most inquisitive statements and arguments that I've ever heard. Steve Harvey has the pulse, in my opinion, of genuineness and his expression about men and his expression of what men are supposed to be and what they're supposed to do, not only in America, but abroad, in America and abroad. But I want you to hear this clip from Steve Harvey because it's very controversial. You know, some people that I that I have mad respect for, my friends, they disagree with him. But I think he's on to something in the clip that he said about manhood. Roll the clip. That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That's our damn job. That's what's wrong. Now, let me let me just touch on that because I know a lot of people had a problem uh, with the impression that Steve Harvey is saying a woman don't have to bring nothing to the table but to be able to birth kids. I don't think that's what he was alluding to. I think Steve Harvey was alluding to the fact that men have to be focused more on what do you bring? What is your value as a man? You, 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 you are supposed to take care of a woman. You know, let me just say this, because my wife don't have to lift a finger. I, but I don't need to get patted on the back because of that fact. It's that That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to work so my wife don't have to work. And And... and in a reasonable sense, my wife is going to take care of the kids. She's going to take care of the house. She's going to do things that wives do when a, when a husband is working full time. I don't think Steve Harvey is challenging that point. I think what's happening to young men in this whole red pill, you know, the red pill movement and all this is that young men forget that we don't need a pat on the back all the time. When you take a woman on a date, you pay for it. You don't ask the question. You don't think twice. You pay for it. And I'll, I'll be honest. If you take a woman on a date, and I'm not talking about some little hooker you're trying to hook up with. I'm talking about a woman that you're interested in. And young men, you should not be dating women unless you're thinking about marrying that woman. 
If she's not good enough to marry, you wasting your time, bro. You ain't really going on a date. You really paying for sex. That's pretty much what you're doing. Because you want to take her here and impress her here so you can get her here. That's the, to me, I get why young men did I did it when I was young. That's not the way you operate. Because then you start feeling weird about, should I pay? Should I not? She taking advantage of me? No, nah, man. When you see a woman that you believe is wifey material, you, you have an obligation, in my opinion, that you take that woman on a date, you pay for it. You go pick that woman up from her house if she allow you to pick her up from her house. And I would argue, if not, you should, you should provide her transportation to come to this date. Because you are marketing yourself as I'm, this is what I bring to the table. I don't need to, I don't need to measure what you bring and what I bring, and then I'm trying to, well, you don't bring a lot, so I'm not going to bring a lot. If I'm going to waste my time to take you on a date or spend my time to take you on a date, I'm going to show you what life is like marrying a man like me. I'm going to roll out the red carpet for you. I'm going to take you to a restaurant with this, that's within my budget. I'm not going to demand that you drive. I will come pick you up. Some women may not be comfortable with you coming to their house. And my, I would argue that you should be taking, you should be talking to a woman and getting to know her enough where she feel comfortable with you before y'all even go on a date. But regardless of that, make sure she get there. You pick, open the car door for her, open the door for her, slide the seat out so she can take a seat. If you can't afford it, don't go on a date. And if you can't afford to take it to the steakhouse, then take it to somewhere where you can afford. You cover the meal. Make sure she get home safe. Be respectful. Don't try to get the draws on the first night. Respect that woman. Offer her what you can bring to the table as a man. And that's what I did with my wife. I wasn't trying to, you know, I'm not trying to hit and all this. No, I was like, man, I respect that woman enough that before I ever think about that, I need to be committed to her. I'm going to show her I'm committed. When, when, when we used to go and she used to come see me and we used to go on dates and she'd come to Arizona, i fly her to Arizona. It, I cover all of her expenses when she came out here. That's what a man does. And in marriage, people, people get caught up in, well, she ain't doing this. You should serve your wife. You should be providing. You should be Whatever my wife needs, I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to make sure she's good. She needs something with the baby, I got her. If I need to rub my wife, you know, if you think about serving your wife and you with a good woman, she'll serve you in return. I, I, just, I just don't like the mentality of, uh, oh, well, she's she an OnlyFans. Well, you shouldn't be dating women like that to start with. Oh, well, I don't know what she brings to the table. You, you, like what he said about the legacy is important to acknowledge. This woman, you can't do it by yourself. You need her to further your legacy. Your legacy is at stake. Whether or not you're, the generations to come carrying your family name, this woman is providing that. And I, and I honestly believe that young men have lost track of what their purpose is. They want a woman to be a, a homemaker. But you ain't, a, you ain't providing nothing. And let me say this, and I'm going to get off this, my soapbox. You got women out here and men telling people a high-value man going to have other women. If you, if you are that ignorant, selfish, and immature to have a side chick or to cheat on a woman you with, you are not a high-value man. You are a liability. You are a risk. You go sleep with a woman and get an STD and bring it back to your wife. You, your val you have destroyed your legacy. You go and get a woman pregnant behind your wife back. You now got a kid out of wedlock and you finna get got for all the money you have. You are an ignorant individual and I would never work with a man that cheats on his wife. I would never do business with somebody. You don't have integrity. A high-value man is a man that say, I, I may look at women, I may be able to get all of these women, but integrity says that I'm going to focus on my wife and treat her with the respect that God has called me to do. And I don't need to, I have enough self-control to say, I think that's the finest woman I've ever seen in my life physically. 
I don't need to talk to her because I'm happily married with my wife. And, and, and I know people say, well, you your wife ain't fine. My wife is beautiful. But, man, they don't, you know, they keep making them. And when we get old, I ain't going to be the best looking man she see. But it, in, the, in the totality of circumstances, you have to have the self-control to say, I'm not going to engage in that because I'm a man of integrity. I'm a man of valor. And young men have just lost all of that. And, and I, I tell my son, man, when you meet a young woman, young lady, don't date a woman that got kids already. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just keeping it real. Some people ain't going to like me saying that because there's somebody for you. Men that have kids, I think they're better off dating women that have kids. You know, you can have your own reasons, but a man that ain't got no kids don't need to date a woman that has kids with somebody already. You need to date a man that already have kids. Therefore, he knows how to be a, a parent, and he got his own kids. Y'all can share the responsibility of having baby mamas and all that. It's better, it, it's better that way. Young men, don't marry a woman with kids. Marry a woman that come from a good family, that come from a good family, a good home, mama and daddy in the house. Those are your qualifications. Marry a woman Marry a woman like that. Nothing against women that didn't come from a happy home. But for my son, I don't need you to have to be Captain Saber or have to deal with anybody's trauma. Come, a woman with a, with, a, with a foundation in a home and a woman that, that has the mentality to serve, a woman that's a servant. When I say servant, I mean, you know, like in business, they call it conscious capitalism. You, you, you have to understand that your benefit is how well you serve another person. And as a man, you serve your wife, your wife serve you. Y'all serving each other, y'all married for 80 years. But I could talk about this forever. Nick said this video ain't going to do that good. So y'all better share this video and like it so it go viral. But anyway, I thought that was some words of wisdom for the young men. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.